What's up, racers? My name is JJ Mosoku Racing, and today I'm going to show you how to go about doing the settings on your Daffy Daisy Chain gauges. If you have ever purchased the Daffy E13 gauges from Soku Racing, for example, the Daffy 5 the Daffy A1, or the Daffy A2s, you will know that these gauges need a control unit to function. With the E13 model, E13 is like a it's like a model number for all of these gauges. As long as it is E13, all the gauges and control units can be shared. There are two different types of control units available for the E13 model gauges. The first one is the four button control unit, and the second type is the three button control unit. With the four button control unit, settings is quite self-explanatory because with the small screen here, you can look at what you are setting. For example, if I were to set the brightness or the color, uh, it's pretty self-explanatory so there is no explanation needed. So today, we are going to dive deep into the setting of the three button control unit. So total, there are seven to available settings for the three button control unit. Firstly, there's the brightness, buzzer type, the opening closing ceremony, color, warning, there's the master reset function, and lastly, there is the RPM cylinder setting. This is how you set the brightness on the three button control unit. Make sure the switch at the side is at the real position. Press the last button to adjust the brightness. Once you're done with the setting, leave it. This is how you set the buzzer type for the three button control unit. Make sure the switch at the side is set at the, the set position. Then hold the first and the second button. Once it beeps, you can use the second and the third button to choose your buzzer type. Once you are done with the setting, push the switch at the side back to the real position. The Defi E13 model gauges offer 28 different opening and closing ceremonies. This is how you set the opening and closing ceremony on the three button controller. Make sure the switch at the side is set to the set position. Then, short press button number one, one and three, then button number three. Now you are currently in the setting mode. With button number two and three, you can change the different opening and closing ceremonies. There are a total of 28 different choices to choose from. So when you are done with the setting, switch the switch at the side back to the real position. The Defi E13 gauges also offer 555 different colors for you to choose from. This is how you set the color. Make sure the switch at the side is set to the set position. Short press button number one, then two and three together. Currently you are in the color setting function. So with number with button number 2 and 3, you can adjust the different colors as you like. There are a total of 555 colors to choose from. Once you are done with the setting, just push the switch at the side back to the real position. This is how you set the warning for your E13 model gauges. Make sure the switch at the side is set to the set position. And then with button number 1, you can move around your gauges. So currently, we are setting the warning for the turbo gauge. Currently, we are setting it for the RPM gauge. Then oil pressure. The selected gauges will light up brighter than the other gauges. Once you are in the setting you want, you can use button number 2 and 3 to adjust the setting. Once you are done with the setting, just set the switch at the side back to the real position. For the Defi E13 gauges, it offers a master reset to factory setting function. When your gauges are glitchy, we can try to do the master reset first before dimming it 40. This is how you do the master reset. Make sure that the switch at the side is set to the real position. Then long hold button number 1 and 3. If you hold it long enough, the gauges will perform a master reset to factory setting. Those of you who have purchased the RPM meter, chances are you will need to set the RPM cylinder settings. This is how you go about setting the RPM cylinder settings. If you are using 
if with a DEFI-Z screen, it is easier. Make sure the switch at the side is pushed to set position. Long press the first button. On the ZD screen, you will be able to move up and down with the second and third button. So in this case, we just move down to engine cylinder and then press button number 1 to enter the setting. Then we can choose the cylinder counts over here. If you are not using the ZD screen, make sure you push the switch at the side down to set. Long press button number 1. Press the second button two times. One, two, and then press the first button one time. Here, from here on, you'll be able to set the cylinder settings. Once you're done with the settings, push the switch at the side back to the real position. So guys, that's how you go about doing the settings on your Defi E13 gauges. The E13 gauges are available to purchase on our Shopee, Lazada and TikTok shop platform. If you are in the Johor Bahru area in Malaysia, you can walk into our shop at Taman Perling. More details are in the bio down below.